Hi, girl. Good evening, teacher. Hi, girls. Can you hear me? Hi, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes, yes you can all hear me? Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay, great. Good to see everybody. Um, how was your weekend? Very good. <laughs> Good. I'm glad to hear that. I'm glad um, you had a good weekend. Uh, what did you do on the weekend? I visited I visited my my mother and and we cook there. <laughs> and you cooked. Cooked. We cooked there. You you cooked, okay. We, what what we did, did we did a uh, fish? <laughs> oh, okay. You cooked fried fish, fish. Mm. with rice and salad. <laughs> mm. Mm, that sounds delicious. That sounds really really <laughs> delicious. Okay, good. And um. What about the rest of you? What did you do? I prepared the the um, for the class uh, for the class uh, of my kids. You mean you did like homework with your children? Yes, I did. Uh, I helped them uh, to do the, the homework and prepare uh, some materials uh, for, for this uh, week. Oh, good. Okay, excellent. Um, how many children do you have? I have three children and I... The older is uh, a daughter. She she is uh, eighteen years old, and the other is a son, a two son and one daughter. And the middle, middle, the middle is um, eight years old, and uh, in the younger is. Uh, Seven. Seven years old. Wow. So you're a very busy mom. <laughs> yes. I'm busy. <laughs> yeah, I, I can only imagine. Yeah. And and they are different ages too. So wow, that's 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 very tough. But um, do you have help? Like uh, your your older daughter, does she help you? Um, no, because uh, she she is in the in the university. And she studies medicine, and she she was very very busy studying. Okay, but is she is she studying online, like at home online? Online, online. She studies, she studies online in the National University. Oh, okay, I see, I understand. Uh, and yeah. the other study third, third grade and the younger first grade. First grade. Oh, 
Oh, wow. Yeah. So you're very, very busy. I can only mm -hmm. imagine. Wow. Lots of things to do. What about the rest of you? How was your weekend? Tell me a little bit about your weekend. I went to Ilovasco City. You hear me, teacher? Sorry, I didn't hear you very well. Could you repeat that a little bit louder? I went to Ilovasco City. Ilovasco? Yes, I am from Ilovasco. Oh, okay. So you went to visit your family? I went to my nephew's birthday to celebrate my nephew's birthday. And then I, I, I be with them and I play and I do everything. With my nephew, he has four years old. And then she, 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 she or he? His name is Franklin. Sorry, I, can you repeat that? His name is Franklin. You said Pablo? No, no Franklin. I, I, I can't hear you. <laughs> okay, sorry. I, I, I'm at, okay, I didn't hear you very well. What is the name? Franklin. Franklin. Oh, okay. Franklin. Okay, I see. Okay. All right. How many nephews do you have? Just one. Yeah, just one. Only one, one nephew. Yeah, two nephews. Oh, okay, okay, wow. Okay, that sounds interesting. Um, and did you, what did you do in, in Ilo Pasco other than be with your family? I used to talk with my sister-in-law to be like her psychologist, to hear her and to, you know, to be with her and with the baby because she loves Tia, I love you Tia. And she says that a lot of time that I have to play with him and to do all the things that she wants to, to, to make. Oh, uh, so you you are a very good aunt. Yes, I am. <laughs> and, I, and I went to visit my, my older aunt, my older aunt uh, because my, my mom is Die, she died. Her, she died. But the first, they are my my mother has a twin brother. And the first How one. How many? A twin. Yes, a twin. <laughs> and and eighteen. Yes, and and my mom is she's died, but the first one she lives, and she. I know. when I go to the last one, I go I go to see her. And she lives in the That's well. a village. That's that's not a family. That's a village. Yeah. <laughs> yes. A lot of them. Do, do you understand what I'm saying? A village? Mm -hmm. Yeah, because they ca we came from another city from El Cerrón Grande. Where is the La Presa del Cerrón Grande, you know? Then the the, the the water we live from that that place to another place. The name is, is Putiapa. Putiapa. We, we came for another place. Very very last part from the last. And that, that's why my my grand grandfather had too many too many sons and daughters, and they are eighteen. Yeah, what I, what I'm saying is that eighteen is not a family; it's a village. <laughs> and, and you know that it's todo un pueblo. <laughs> and they are not, uh, I think, they, they are not uh, friendly one with another one. All of them are in, in their places, and those and those doesn't have a good relation, a good relation. They, all of them like uh, separation. I don't know. I don't okay, know. so they're they're they are not a very um they're they're not a very close family. Nothing, <laughs> nothing. 
Then I, I imagine my 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 aunt that is the older one. She lives alone, alone, alone. In sometimes she she doesn't have to eat, nothing to eat. She doesn't have medicine. She doesn't have. And she calls me to San Salvador and to Lorena. Could you came? Like, could you buy some for me? So she said, yes. And that's why I really I so I go. Uh, the, try to walk. To, to, to visit her because yeah. she needs to, to talk with someone and, and not to visit. You're, you're, you're a good niece. You're a very good I niece. Try. I try. I love her. I try. Good, good. I'm glad to hear that. Okay. What about the others? Tell me, how was your weekend? One at a time, okay? Only one, please, please don't not everybody at the same time. Hello, good evening. Hi, Marvin. Good evening. Well, my weekend was very hard because I job the Saturday. It's only only that. <laughs> you worked on Sunday. Saturday? is only my day off. You said you worked on Saturday. Yeah. And my work only have two days off. It's Thursday and Sunday. Thursday and Sunday. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, uh, but uh, what did you do yesterday on su Sunday? I play basketball with my sons. How many I'm watching the Super have? Bowl. <laughs> oh, you watch the Super Bowl? Yeah. Oh, interesting. Okay. All right. So you you like you like um, football? Yeah, football, soccer? No, football. Because... Oh, yeah, football. Yeah, I like. But I like all sports. Okay, okay. All right. Do you play football? Yes. Oh, no, I play soccer. Ah, you play soccer, but football? Yeah, I play no. soccer. And bas uh, no. When I was a child, I tried to play football. It's a very hard by my my body is a team. But last year and today is no it's not team. <laughs> okay, I see. All right. Well guys, um I hope you had a very good weekend. I know that sometimes the weekend is really, really short and we don't have the opportunity of um, doing everything that we want to do. I know I know it, the best thing would be to have a, a long, um, a, a long, uh, what's it called? Um, a long weekend, very, very long. But, you know, unfortunately we can't. We can't uh, have a very long weekend, so we just have to make the best out of it, right? So I hope everybody was able to enjoy their weekend. Um, recharge those batteries because that's what it's about it's about uh, being able to um, you know just recharge those energies and and be ready for the week okay guys um, so what we're gonna do right now um, by the way guys um, I'm sorry I just noticed that you guys were talking a lot on the whatsapp I I had a crazy day today. I didn't have a chance to look at everything. I am very sorry. I will take a look at it. Um, just I just had I just had a part, uh, a question there with um. Let's see. Eduardo asked. Is Eduardo here? Yes, I am. Oh, yes, I am. Okay. 
So <laughs> I'm trying to, I'm looking for Eduardo and I just noticed that you, 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 you have another name. <laughs> okay. Yes, All right, I good. changed the name. So, yeah, <laughs> exactly. Okay. Um, I, you said that, you, that the, uh, it doesn't accept the answer. What answer does it not accept? Sorry, I I have the problems with the connections of the internet. Um, oh, it's okay. Repeat, please. My question is: You said, you said in this in in the sentences, teacher, your help does not accept the answers. Oh are yes. You saying, are you saying that that the answer that I gave you was not accepted, or or what? What are you asking about? Okay, I have the problems in the, um, wait, wait, please. I can share in the, the screen with you. Um, sure. Okay. It's where a minute. My connection is slow. Okay. In this moment, sharing the screen. Oh my God. It's okay, we'll wait. Okay, I read in the chatting in this, how good at volleyball? Because it's guess I pretty good. And I know if, and I often playing wicked, but I understand I rated how good only, or another is the compliment. Okay, there is no, in the, in those sentences, well, in the first one, for example, there is no verb. So, and there is no subject. So, you're missing the subject and a verb. Okay, I read in the how good, how good at baseball. And okay, I think how good is bad. What is the verb? How good place? What is the verb? What? What is the verb that you need? The verse is play. Play at bat baseball? No. No. You're, because your question is, Juan Bueno eres? In, in volleyball, so like in Spanish, right? Cuán bueno eres in volleyball. And so in English? How good are you? Are you? Are you? Good, good. we're going to be using the verb to be, right? Mm -hmm. And because it's it's you, right? You're asking about the person. So it'll be how good are you at volleyball, right? Okay. Does that make sense? Is it complete sentences? How good are you? Um, it, you you would ha uh, you would have to eliminate eliminate the the question mark because the question mark is already there in the in the question. So no 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 no. Just just put how good are you, and then because um, the rest of it it says at volleyball. Is it going to rating? No, you have to eliminate the question mark. Yeah. Question. How good? Es signo de interrogación, quítelo. 
Okay. Okay. And the same thing with number two, you have to complete the question. Um, so how long and you need, you need a, because you're using spend, we need an auxiliary. What is the auxiliary with spend? Spent. No. What auxiliary do you need with spend? How long At is spent? Do. Do you? We need the auxiliary do, right? Because we, with uh, with all the other verbs, we use um, <laughs> with do, right? We we always use do with all the other verbs. Okay. Does that make sense? Do you? How oh, how long do you? How long? Do yeah, you? we need we need the auxiliary. How long is the question word, and then after that is the auxiliary do. How long do you? Expect? How long do you? Yeah, and we continue with the with the with the subject. What is the subject? Do. <laughs> right, exactly. Very good. The same the same situation with number three. You have to use an auxiliary. The auxiliary okay. is either gonna be do or does, right? How often do you? How often do you? Do you play cards? Do you play cards? Exactly. Mm -hmm. Niño. And how well? And how that well? one, you're going to be using the auxiliary, or better say, not the auxiliary, the model auxiliary can. How well it's tape? No, uh, you can. How well can you? You can. Use, well use can. the auxiliary can. Instead of do, how well use can. can. You? Okay, thank you. There you go. Bravo. Excellent. All right. Okay. All right. Any other questions? Uh, to be honest, well, okay. Uh, sí, para serlo sincero, eh, sincera, eh, realmente no he tenido chance de ver las otras preguntas. Es que si quieren mejor, háganmela ahorita para que les pueda ayudar de una sola vez. Okay. I don't have any question. Anybody have any other questions? Yes. Teacher, I have a question. Yeah. Uh, 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 structure sentences, uh, exam final, uh, part four. Uh, oh, the final exam. Yes. Uh, the final exam, we're going to look at the final exam uh, later, okay? Uh, right now, I want to concentrate on sections one, two, and three. Anybody have any problems with section one, two, or three? No. Or the midterm? No. In the midterm, I really cost me, but... I, I, I get it. <laughs> what do you mean it cost you? Uh, in the last one, in the last one, uh, I sent the, the, the picture. Uh, I want to search here. But uh, Karen, when you say it cost me, do you mean like you're trying to say in Spanish, me costo? Yes. De, 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 <laughs> 
que fue difícil. Yes, it's difficult for me, but in the in the number two, do you ever drink coffee? But you help me, and and I don't. <laughs> Okay, good, good. Um, just be careful, um, Karen. When you say it costs me, it does mean me costó, pero yep. me costó no de, de ser difícil. Es me costó de dinero. Ah, okay. Yeah. It okay. Me, it costs me. So be careful. In that, in that, in that context, you would say it was difficult for difficult. me. Difficult. Okay. 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 Very good. Any other questions yeah. that you have? Something I can help you with? Okay, perfect. In that case, what we're going to do is I'm going to be, um, so since, since uh, you already finished um, there, the, well, I'm hoping you finished the midterm already, um, then we're going to start with section four, okay? So today we're going to be doing section four. So let me, uh, let me share the PowerPoint presentation and tell me when you can see it. Um, give me a moment. Can you see it? Yes, I can see. Yes, teacher. Yes, yes, yes. yes. <clears throat> okay, okay, good. Yes, um, let's see, just give me a moment. I'm going to make this a little bit bigger. Um, ay, ay, ay. Just give me a second. Okay, that's better. Okay, can everybody see it a little bit better? Yeah. Yeah, I can see it. Yes. Okay, so um, it's uh, English yes. pre completed two. We're going to be talking about appearances here. And your facilitator is Jessica Guerrero. That's me. <laughs> okay. And um, all right, great. And today is day number nine. So we're going really, really quickly. Um, and uh, the day today is Monday. February 8th, 2021. Wow, I, I can't believe it's already, we're in the middle of February already. Um, okay, so uh, what we're gonna do right now, uh, we're going to start looking at vocabulary there for appearances. Okay, so, um, just give me a moment. Okay, can you see that? Oh, yeah. Yes. Yes. Yes, I see. Yeah? Yes. Okay, good. good. Okay. So, uh, let's talk first about, uh, about people's hair. Well, uh, one of the things that, like, for example, especially for women, um, yeah, this is, this is um, specifically more for women. Um, that it's referring to, although it is possible for a man to fall under this yes, category as well, which is long, right? So when your hair, when you, if you say that the hair is long, it means that the length of the hair is, um, it's long, right? Okay. Um, and 
this would be short, okay? Um, this hair is short. Again, this is mostly for men, but it's also possible to use for women, as you can see in the picture as well. So, uh, most women would not have short hair, but there are some women that do have short hair. Then, um, so this is about length, okay? So we can have um, long or short. Another, another word that is not here, but I would like you to also know it, is um, using medium length. Medium length. Okay. And what medium length uh, means is, is basically, it's not short, it's not long, it's in the middle. And another, another possibility, especially for women, that is very common is using um, using shoulder length. It's also another medium length or shoulder length. It's, it's very common as well. So I'll write it there, shoulder, shoulder length. And what shoulder length means is it means that the the long the how long the hair is is up to the shoulders okay so the person has their hair the, it ends up to the shoulders does that make sense class does that make sense Questions? Medium length is similar to say shoulder length. Yeah, I would say almost the same, right? Because uh, medium length is that, you know, it's not long, it's not short, okay? And shoulder length means that it's specifically, the length is up to the shoulders, hasta los hombros. In my case, it's medium length. Shoulder length. How do I can say piel clara? I, oh, okay. Well, we'll get to that in a moment. Yeah. So, um, Lorena, I wouldn't say that your hair is shoulder length because it's. I think it's a little bit longer than shoulder. Uh, it's a. It's so. I would say below the shoulders below the shoulders or another possibility is saying medium length okay. okay so it's not very long you don't have a long long hair but it's just below the shoulders or medium length does that make sense for everybody yes teacher yes teacher okay good 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 all right now, um, now, as you noticed, um, we can, after we mention the length of the hair, it's also to mention the color. So we can have brown hair or blonde hair or black hair. Other, other, um, or we can also have red hair, okay? Okay, so those are like the most common colors. Although, of course, you know that we can use all different colors, right? Like, you know, for hair, it's possible to use many different, but these are the most common, right? Using first the length and then the color of the hair. Now, you can also talk about the texture. The texture of the hair, we can say that it's um, straight. Okay, you understand straight? so yeah exactly straight is liso right okay or you can say curly do you understand what is curly colocho colocho are the medium exactly in straight and curly Rizado. sorry <laughs> the length between straight and curly the difference no, the, 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 I think my, my 
Uh -huh. Oh, what, what is in between them? Yes, okay, yes. That, that was the next thing I was going to, to tell you. Yes, um, I mean, not all hair is straight or not all hair is curly, right? For example, I have curly hair, but some people, uh, like for example, yes, Lorena, maybe your hair is not really straight, but it's not curly, and it has a little bit of volume. We would call that hair wavy. Wavy, it's wavy, okay, ondulado, okay. Um, another word that is also very common, especially nowadays and especially for men, is, oh, sorry. No, just give me a moment. There we go. Okay, another word is spiky. Do you know what is spiky? I don't know. No, it's the first time I heard that. Okay, um, some people naturally have spiky hair, but other people do Wavy is, on, is ondulado. Yes, correct. Wavy is ondulado. Mm -hmm. Okay. It, now, spiky hair is um, is like some people have spiky hair naturally and other people do it with gel they they put up their hair and so that the hair goes up do you know spiky how do you say spiky in spanish exactly. yeah like a porcupine <laughs> <laughs> no, es, es como de punta. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Sí, es, um, sí, como, como que dijeron hace poquito. Uh. Parado. Funky hair. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Exacto, parado, pelo parado, right? Okay, like I said, some people naturally have the hair like that. They can't do anything to change their, their hair. And other people, they do it on purpose, right, with, with gel, okay? And, and there's also, um, um, hold on, give me a moment. Um, yeah, so you can, you can do, um, spiky hair, um, but you can also have another, another hairstyle that is very calm or is very popular now is tousled, tousled. Oh, hold on, tousled. Wait a minute. Wait. Hold on, give me a moment. So correct. Tousled. Tousled hair. Anybody know what tousled hair means? I don't know. Tousled. I don't hear. It. What is? The meaning person. Despeinado, verdad? Mechudo. Like a taco. Como me levanté. <laughs> Enredado. <laughs> um, yeah, oh, sorry. Perdón, chicos, pero no me di cuenta que estaba muted. Um, okay. Uh, yes, it's correct. Some um, some people. This is actually a hairstyle that is very common nowadays. Um, some people do oh. it on purpose, right? It's not oh, just like yeah. it's not just um, it, yes, it, it, not not just because they don't have time to comb their hair. Sometimes they do it on purpose. Okay, so that's that's a hairstyle. Okay, that's tousled. Okay? Now, if you notice. According to this, we have long or short or straight or curly at the beginning. And after that, we have the color. Okay. So we can say, um, we can say first the length, right? El, 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 el uh, tamaño o el, el largo. Okay. And then we say the color. Now, if you were going to have both things the the length the color 
and the texture, it would look like this. Long, Artificial. long curly hair. I'm sorry, long curly uh, blonde hair. Okay, that would be the that would be the correct order. Long curly blonde hair. So first the length. Okay, first we talked about the length, how long it is. If it's long, short, medium length. Then the texture, which is in this case curly. And then the color, right? In this case, it's blonde. Okay, so long curly blonde hair. All right, does that make sense? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay, good. All right, and then there are people that don't have to complicate their life because they don't have hair <laughs> okay so if you don't have hair then you you call you're called bold like right you're bold okay so that means that's people that don't have any hair right so you don't have to describe how long it is or what the color is because they don't have hair now it's different to not have hair than to um, it, to to have um, hair, but that you cut it very very short. How do you call that hair when it's very short, very very short? Ya saben a lo que me refiero? Es como rapado, algo así, teacher. Ajá. How do you say that in English? Rape. No, I don't know. No, 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 esa palabra sí, no. No tengan cuidado, por favor, con esa palabra. No es el mismo. Ok. Um, yeah, raped. Um, solo para, para que sepan, para no, no se me vaya a confundir. Raped literally means in, in, in Spanish, violado. So, so be, be careful. Oh my God. Be very yeah, exactly. I don't yes. say that. <laughs> Okay, se lo digo para que para que no pues sí no, no cometen error de, en un futuro. Okay. okay anyways, um, yes, uh, the way that you say in English uh, when someone uh, has very very short hair, uh, they have hair, but it looks bald because um, they cut it so short. You call that shaved. Okay, shaved hair. Um, shaved head, shaved, um, shaved head. All right. I was or in words, uh, uh, exactly. Or in other words, like in Spanish, it would say, um, cabeza Pelon. rasurada. Uh, no, because pelon is more, well, mm, well, I don't know. Well, depends. It depends because, um, for some people, pelon means they don't have any hair like calvo right similar to calvo <laughs> and then um and then sometimes pelon they say it to someone that has hair but it's very very short so i don't know it depends it depends i would i would say better the best word would be um esta ras, rasurado mm, i would say Pel, pelo o oh, cabeza rasurada Skin, cabeza rasurada. Skin head? It's a little sign the uh, group, no. the German people, I don't know. Yeah, exactly. No, don't 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 say that it's skinhead because a skinhead is actually it's a movement. A skinhead <laughs> is a movement of uh, people's ideology that says that they consider themselves superior to others so that's not so much of a yes they do skinheads do have shaved head 
but it, that's more of a movement. It's like saying like hippie, something like that, hippie. D does that make sense? Is, is, is similar a uh, uh, Right, exactly. Yes, very, very similar to that. Yes, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Very good. Okay, next. Uh, after that, we have uh, a mustache or a beard. A mustache and a beard. So mustache is right here at the top. That's a mustache. And the beard is this part here that goes under. Now, it, there's also what we call... Uh, when when men sometimes wear a mustache and a small beard, like in Spanish, what do you call that? Barbo. <laughs> no. Um, we... Barbudo. <laughs> no, 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 no. I mean, sorry. Uh, what I mean is when a man. Um, wears a mustache and only the front part of their of the of the beard the this part here on the botón? sides es un candado no, sí. you know in spanish you call it candado. Candado. right yeah you, you know you know what a candado is right uh -huh. bigote Uh -huh. Yeah, uh, 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 candado, right? Or like it, it's like the just the mustache and a small beard, right? And that in English we call it a goatee. Goatee. Okay. All right, does that make sense? Go T. Yes. Okay, so um, let's continue. Okay, so that's about the hair. Let's talk about age. We can say that somebody is young, middle age, or elderly. Okay. Um, young right um you know that's pretty clear middle age is somebody that's between 40 and 50 years old and elderly is probably somebody that's more mm. than 65 years old 60 65 and over okay but i'm going to tell you something this is there's there's another way also that you can express the uh, someone's age and that is um when you are um when when you say for example um in in his or her twin for example in his or her 20s it could be 20s or 30s or we can say 40s 50s, etc., etc., etc. I'm not going to write all the possibilities, right? So, in his or her 20s, like I say, like in you say in Spanish, en sus 20s, él está en sus 20s, en sus 30s, en sus 40s, etc., etc. So, you say in his 20s, in his 30s, in his 40s, in his 50s, in his 50s, 60s, etc., etc., etc. Okay, so that's another way that we can express um, someone's age. Okay, is that clear? Yeah. That clear thing. Okay, good. Um, all right. Let's move on to the next part. The way someone looks. We can say the person is handsome if it's a man. Okay. Pretty if it's a girl. And good looking, we can say for both men and women. Okay. So good looking is is um is the general way of saying it. It's very similar to when you say in Spanish, bien parecido. Oh, 
ok a quién no sé pero se parece a alguien ok um, ok so anyway uh, that's so, so those are the ways that he, someone looks teacher, teacher a yeah. question uh, uh, a look um, uh, cute for some cute oh yeah we can say cute um cute is more it's mostly used uh for um more like for babies and children and a young woman we would say or or a young man that would be cute because cute is more like um like when you say in spanish yeah. um, aye, aye, aye. what would be cute anybody um, uh, uh, sweet um, sweet no sweet no no lindo. no sweet no lindo <laughs> ajá lindo yeah bonito but 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 so I can so, I can you say charming? Charming? Yes. Uh, no, charming is not so much for appearance. Charming is about personality. Charming is okay. like that is like eh, encantador, encantadora. Right? It's, it's similar. Dear. Sorry. It's similar. Dear. It just it's more similar to um mm, like nice something like that it's more about personality um you uh, now the opposite of cute or or handsome pretty etc cetera, etc cetera. oh we can also say gorgeous if the person is like like more than just like pretty like a, a woman that's more than just pretty we can say that she's gorgeous or also a man it's more common to hear it for women but but it is possible for men as well oops oh man i don't know why sure. back. Mm -hmm. yeah and beautiful yeah that too beautiful um yeah beautiful could also be used for for mostly for women okay beautiful um you can use it for babies even if they're boys you just give me a moment you beautiful and be careful beautiful is spelled only with one l it's not f-u-l-l -L. this is one l okay so beautiful um and then we can have like opposites so beautiful is oh we can say the person is ugly okay no. okay uh, oh, oh, yeah, yeah. It's okay. ugly okay or we can also say they're average average do you understand average? El promedio. Yeah, it's un promedio, so como regular, like you say, you know, not not ugly, not beautiful, just eh, regular. Okay, and um, eh, let me see. Okay, so that's that's probably the best way. Average, sorry. There we go. Average. Okay. Oh my goodness. R. R. Okay. Average. Okay. And over here, uh, we are talking about height. Okay. Someone's height. Uh, so we can say someone's short fairly short means like you know it's not they're not short short but you know they're on the short side okay and then we have medium height so at like you know they're, they're, it's not not too tall not too short pretty tall okay 
and then we say very tall, okay? So that's how high they are, okay? And it's also- Peter, yeah? what is the pronunciation? George House. Sorry. In the next cube, in the next cute George House. In the next what? Cute. In the next cute uh, phrases is George House. Between in the cute oh, and beautiful. Gorgeous, gorgeous. This is pronounced gorgeous. 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 Okay, thank you. Go, Jay. Yeah, you're welcome. And then we can also have an average height. Um, average height is like a promedio, right? So it's not too tall, not too short. That's the average height. Okay. Any other questions that you want to ask about? No questions. Okay. So every all the vocabulary here is clear. Yes, teacher. Yes, yes teacher. Okay. And let me show you just here. Okay. Um, we're going to read an article, uh, a conversation. I'm actually going to ask... Teacher, 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 yes. a question. Eh, yes. Lo voy a decir en español rapidito. En esas, eh, como decir, eh, la edad, la, el look eh, y eh, la estatura, eh, eh, así como hay un orden en el, en el cabello que se dice primero el... el el arco, después el color y después la textura. Si uno quiere describir una persona, digamos, del cabello, la altura. Sorry, el... do you want, sorry, sorry to interrupt you. Can you do me a favor of asking me in English? What? Can you ask me in English? Eh, o sea, a question in 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 her um, the order is uh, the long uh, el tex, textura no sé cómo se dice textura um, and color and color uh, for describe a, a person uh, hair, edge, and hay. Uh, uh, which, which the order? Uh, no, that would not have an order because you normally do not say all of that together. You would say, oh, by the way, uh, this is something very important. Um, I'm actually gonna show you something for this. Um, I forgot to mention something. Um, the verbs that we use, the verbs that we're going to be using uh, for to describe appearance are either gonna be the verb have or the verb be, okay? So use, be, or have, okay? So the, that's very important. You're gonna be using use be or have. Now, which ones are you going to use with be and which ones are you gonna be using with have? Um, let me show you exactly. Give me one moment. Okay. 
Um, with this one, when you're talking about hair, you're going to be using the verb have, okay? So um, when you say for he has, she has, it has, etc., etc., okay? We have. So we're always going to be using the verb have, okay? With appearances, sorry, with the hair, okay? So for example, I can say I have long, um, long blonde curly hair long blonde curly hair i have okay etc etc okay the same thing here uh with her if i was going to describe her you would say she has long brown hair okay now that is with yeah with hair um now um now with the age with the age uh we're not going to be using have with age, we're going to be using the verb be. Okay, so you're going, you're not going to say he has young. You're going to be using the verb be. So I'm going to change that. So it's going to be not he has, but he is young. She is middle aged. He is elderly. Okay, does that make sense? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. I have a question. Um, for example, is it correct to say my hair is show black? My hair is um, short and black. Ah, uh, okay. Thank you. Okay, and also when you're talking about uh, looks, also looks is going to be using the verb be, okay? And with, um, also with a uh, height, we're gonna be using the verb to be, okay? Um, even though it's not here, but also if you're going to be describing people's cut, um, uh, eye color, the color of someone's eyes, you're also going to be using have. Okay, so for hair and eyes, you're going to use have. For everything else, you're going to be using be. Does that make sense? Is that clear? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. It's clear, teacher. Thank you. Okay, wonderful. All right, guys. Um, so, uh, teacher, uh, question. Yes. Uh -huh. uh, how do I say piel morena, piel clara, or piel trigueña? Oh, okay, sure. I can add. I can add it over here. Let me just, just give me a moment. Okay, I'll put it over here with the other words or expressions. Yes, yeah, so if you're going to be col um, talking about um, skin color. Um, skin color, we would say, um, oops, ay, ay, ay. Give me a moment. Okay. Um, so skin color, eh, first of all, we don't normally, um, talk about like white. We don't say that she has white skin because white skin, really nobody has white skin. If you think about it, nadie, nadie tiene, tiene, um, piel blanca it's impossible I, I think that if you ha like you're not healthy <laughs> you're not a healthy person if you have white skin so instead um, what we say is when you say like piel clara or something like that we would say um, the person either has pale skin okay pale skin which is like pálida right okay or fair skin fair skin is more like like the 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 lighter color okay so like when you say in spanish piel clara okay so that's fair skin now if you're going to talk about um a 
like trienio, I would say that that's olive skin. Olive, olive skin. Okay. Or it's also possible to say tanned. Tanned. She's tanned. But tanned is more like when you say in Spanish bronceado. Okay. So tanned. Okay. Tanned. Tan skin. Um, now, somebody, if it's like a darker color than tan, I would say that it would be brown. Brown skin. Or it is possible to be black skin. Black skin. Okay. So pale, fair, olive, tanned, brown, black. Those are mostly the most common colors. Um, it's also possible though to say, um, let, let me just make this a little bit smaller. What, what mean fire king? Fire king? It's Lara. Oh, okay. Thank you. Yeah, exactly. Thank you. Yes, piel clara. Mm -hmm. It was the mean okay. only the skin. Sorry? Yeah. What's the mean of uh, only the skin? Trigueño. Yeah, all of skin is ah. trigueño. Trigueño. Okay. And only, only skin is together. The word. Trigueño. No, it's separate, olive skin, okay? Um, and it's also possible to have yellow skin. Yellow skin is, um, is mostly uh, related to people that are from Asia. Okay, so Asians have yellow skin. Uh. Okay, and we could also have red, uh, red skin referring to Indians, like specifically like Native Indians, American American Native Indians, right? Okay, so that's also another another word that you can use. Any other questions? No, no teacher. Yellow no. skin, teacher. Yeah, mm. yellow skin um, yeah. is is more referring to people that are from Asia. You know, Asia, from Asia, like like uh, Chinese, um, you know, Japanese, Japanese, yeah. So th those would be more like yellow skin, okay? The pigment, the thing, okay. we're talking about the pigment of the, the, the pigment of the skin is more yellowish. Okay, guys, so I'm going to stop sharing right now. Yes, teacher. Okay, so that's it. We have covered there the appearance. And what I'm going to ask you to do, I'm going to, for homework, I'm going to be sending you a picture in the WhatsApp group. And what I want you to do is choose uh, five of the people in the picture, and you're going to describe the people. Okay, you're going to choose five, pick five people from the picture I'm going to send you, and you're going to describe the appearance of those people. Do we understand? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Describe people. Image. Okay, perfect. All right, guys, so that will be all for today. I will see you tomorrow, okay? Take care and enjoy... Well, the rest of this day. <laughs> okay. All right. Thank take you. care. See you guys. Bye. Thank you. Bye. 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 Tomorrow. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. 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 Good morning.